Hey guys, Setting Superstars, welcome to Monday Motivation. My name is Natasha Alcoff, I'm a Grand Prix dressage rider from Australia, and Monday Motivation is all about pumping you up for the week ahead. So where are you? How is everything going? <laughs> Today I wanna to talk about SMART goals, because a lot of people have been talking to me going, I don't need your free training, I know how to set goals, I set goals all the time. And I go, that's great, are you successful? Are you achieving the results you want? And they're like, no, but I set goals. <laughs> and that's great. Um, you're better than 97% of the population if you actually set goals and write them down. 97% of, of the population doesn't even do that. But setting goals isn't all there is. It's not as if you just write down, I will win five gold medals at the next Olympics and you sit there and then that, that it just magically happens. Um, so SMART goals actually, if you haven't heard of the acronym, stand for um, specific, S for specific, M for measurable, A for attractive, R for realistic and T for time framed. And if you follow that formula when you set a goal, they say the goal is well formed. So specific means that you need to set a goal specifically. It's not okay to just say, my goal is to be a good rider because what is a good rider? Um, you know, you have to be specific. My goal is to um, score 79% in a Grand Prix dressage test. That's a lot more specific. The next one is measurable. Again, if you just say, my goal is to be a good rider, how do you measure that? What is good to you? I don't know, how do you, are you good already? Um, what's the measure? So if you're scoring 70% in Grand Prix and your goal is to score 79, that's a measurable thing. You either tick it, you either got 79% or you didn't. The next one is A for attractive. There's no point setting a goal if it doesn't light you up. Um, I uh, have friends that run marathons and they're like, you should set a goal to run a marathon. I said, no, I shouldn't. Um, I, I really don't enjoy running. I kind of enjoy running for about 50 meters, because that's kind of fun. Do you guys ever just go, I'm just gonna run? <laughs> I do that sometimes, it's like, yeah, just run. Um, run as fast as you can for like a little bit. Um, but running a marathon would literally make me want to cry a lot. Um, so there's no point setting a goal to run a marathon because that would make me cry and make me unhappy and I would never achieve the goal. I would never take the action steps needed to achieve the goal because I hate running so much. So you need to make sure the goals you've set um, excite you, make you happy and make you really compelled to need to do the actions to get that goal. Because achieving a goal isn't easy. It's just not. It requires hard work. It requires action. It requires you to push through. Um, so you need to actually want the goal to start with. Uh, the next one is R. Now you're testing, can I spell? S-M-A-R, which is realistic. Um, so it's not realistic if you've never ridden a horse before to set a goal, I will win Grand Prix um, with 79% in the next month. Um, I don't care what horse you ride and how great you are, that's not realistic. But if you've never ridden a horse before and you set the goal to get 79% in Grand Prix in 10 years, absolutely rock on, that is totally doable. The last one is time frames. You need to set a time. So um, <laughs> if you've ever set a goal, um, just for anything, like think in high school, if you had an English paper due do you, and you had two weeks to do the English paper, did you do it like every day a little bit, like 50 or 100 words? Or did you wait till Sunday night and go, oh yeah, that English paper's due tomorrow and smash it out? Yeah, that's me. Um, <laughs> I'm sure there's like 10% of you that go, I totally like had it done by like the Thursday before. Good for you. Um, but most of the population are a Sunday night kind of population, which is fine. Um, but it just shows that a time frame is really important when setting a goal. If you set a goal to score 79% in Grand Prix one day, like whenever it happens, you're not going to feel compelled to ride. You're not going to feel compelled to do anything because you can just, you've got your whole life. Um, so you need to, if you set the goal in 10 years, it's like, Jesus, well, I need to learn how to ride a horse. I need to learn how to ride dressage, I need to learn how to ride a test, I need to get a horse that's capable of scoring 79% in Grand Prix. There's all these little goals that sit under that big goal and because you've set the time limit of 10 years, you're now much more excited and much more compelled to um, work and achieve your goal. 
So SMART goals are cool and important, but they're not the whole thing. That is definitely not how you achieve success in 2017. So in my free training, which I'm launching in two weeks, free training starts in two weeks, I'm so pumped. Um, I'll be sharing to you why they don't work and what you need to be set, how you need to be setting goals instead um, and the framework that you need to use to make sure that you achieve the, the goals and the success that you want in 2017. So it's not too late, you can still register for the free training. Click the link below or go to www.yourgoalsettingsuccess.com backslash free training. And remember if you're pumped and excited about the free training and you want to get as many friends as possible to come on this journey with you so you're all successful in 2017, make sure you share, like and comment and um, get as many people on board as possible. So can't wait to share with you all these cool things in two weeks for our free training. Can't wait to meet all of you and I'll see you guys very soon. Okay, bye.